Hi, writers. Are you ready for writing time today? I am. I think I have everything that I need to be a writer. Let's see. I've got my crayons. I've got some paper. Lots of paper. Let's see. Oh, and I have the piece that I've been working on about my garden, about gardening, because I, I feel like I know a lot about gardening. I'm trying to teach others about it. So I have that piece. I think I'm ready to get started. Well, I have to talk to you about a problem I was having. So after our last lesson, when I finished that video, I was going to try to add another word to my page because I'm looking at this and I really only wrote a couple words. I did write tomato plant. And you guys helped me write the word sun. I wanted to label this picture here you know, my carrots, but I felt like that was going to be too hard. And so I thought about just quitting. What do you guys think about that? Do you think a good writer would just quit? No. So you mean, even though it's hard, I should still try to do it? Oh man. Oh, that's right. I remember kindergartners can do hard things, can't they? Yeah, so if kindergartners can do hard things, I can do hard things too, right? Well, will you guys help me? You will? You'll help me write the word carrots? I want to put that word, I think, right here. Carrots. Hmm. You know, writers, they run into problems sometimes. And they really shouldn't quit, should they? I'm going to have to remember that writing is hard. And I shouldn't just quit, should I? Hmm. What other kinds of problems do you think writers run into? Hmm. Well, I know when we are done, we have just begun. So we can always add to our pictures. You remember that? We can always add to our pictures, which I did that. I feel like my page is pretty full of pictures. Yeah. And there's where I got stuck. We can always add to our words. Yeah, so you guys are going to help me do that. And then after we've done those things, then we can start a new piece. All right, so we'll do that later. But right now, you'll help me write the word carrot, won't you? All right, let's do it. I'm going to have to say the word carrot. Carrot. When I say that, k, I hear that k sound at the beginning. So I'm going to have to try to remember what's the letter that makes that sound. K. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. But C and K both make the K sound. Oh, this is too hard. I'm just going to be done writing. I, I'm just going to go watch some TV. You guys write. Oh, I shouldn't do that, should I? Yeah, a super writer wouldn't just have a big fit and quit like that. Oh, I know. I can ask somebody around me for some help. Wait a minute. There's nobody else here. Empty room again. It's just me. So there's nobody here to help me. I'm going to have to do this on my own, I guess. Well, maybe I could call my friend Miss Duket. I bet she would help me write if I could call her. No, it's pretty late at night. I think she's sleeping probably. Hmm. Can't call her. Hmm. Guess I'm just going to have to do it, right? All right. So I know that C and K both make the K sound. Well, how am I going to know which one to pick? You know what? Writers, we don't have to be afraid of that. You can just write. You can just pick one. Whichever one you think is best. And I think 
I'm gonna pick a C. C for k carrot. All right, I'll quit having my fit and I'll keep trying because I'm a good writer. I'm a super writer. I know that you are too. Well, let's keep going. All right, what's the next sound? Carrot. Hmm. Have we learned those sounds yet? I'm sure somebody knows them. I bet you guys know them. Carrot. I know that sound because my first name starts with that sound. That's an R. All right, I'm going to write that. Carrot. I remember that letter. All right. Now, I don't know if that is spelled right, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to be a brave speller. I'm going to listen for the sound and write down the letter that I think makes that sound. Writers, thank you for helping me get another word on my page. And thank you for reminding me or helping me remember that sometimes writing is going to be hard and I'm going to have problems but I can solve my problems all by myself. There's nobody else around here. I'm going to have to do it myself. Thank you. All right, writers. I want to talk to you about another problem that you might have when it's writing time. And that is, I think I'm done with this page. What am I going to do with it? Hmm. I just throw it away. I mean, I'm all done with it. What am I going to do? Oh, I shouldn't. What are you saying? I shouldn't throw it away. No, I mean, I did work pretty hard on it, and I might need it again. So I'm going to have to find a good place to keep my writing. I know. I could use a folder. Yeah. Oh, I, I happen to have one right here. Look at that. Do you have a folder at home? It's got pockets on the inside you can keep things in. helps you stay nice and organized. Well, if you have a folder at home, pause the video and go get it. And if you don't, maybe your grown-up could grab one for you next time they're at the store. And if they can't do that, well, you know what they could do? You could ask me because I have some folders and I could bring you one. Or maybe your grown-up could come to the school and pick it up. But I've got folders and I'd be happy to share with you if you need one. All right, good. So if you have a folder use it. And if you don't, we'll get that problem solved too. Okay. So I would love for everybody to have a writing folder. It can be any color you want. It can be any design you want. In fact, you know what? I asked my daughter if I could have this one. She had an extra one in her room and she said I could have it. So yeah, thank you for that. All right. So I'm going to open my folder. I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna... What, what pocket should I put this and it's got two sides. So how am I going to know? Ooh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I could put a, mm, it's not going to work on this folder because it's dark. Ah, I can solve that problem. I'm going to put a post-it note on it. Do you have post-it notes at home? If you don't, I can bring you some of those too. Or you can get them at Walmart. I think even Dollar Store has post-it notes, and these are fun to work with. I'm going to put a post-it note there, and I'm going to take another one, and I'm going to put it on this other pocket. Okay, here we go. Are you watching how I'm organizing my writing folder? Because I want you to do the same thing. Then I'm going to get a green crayon. You know what green stands for when you're driving? Shout it out. What does green stand for when you're... Oh my, that was really loud. I could hear you all the way through my video. That's right. Green stands for go when you're driving. I'm going to put a green dot on this side right here. You see that? I'm going to color it in. Green stands for go. And go means I'm still working. I'm still driving this piece. I'm not done with it yet. So I'll put my papers that I'm still working on, I'll put those on this side. And then, what? When you are driving, well, not when you're driving, when your grown-up is driving, 
What does red stand for? Go ahead and blurt it out. Not so loud this time. Maybe try whispering it. What does red stand for? Yeah. When you're driving, just like a stop sign. It's the color red. Red stands for stop. I'm going to put a red dot on this side. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to color that in. So red stands for stop. It means done. So I'll put the pages that I'm done with on this side. That means I can stop with that, page, with that piece. That means I'll be all done with it. So let me look at my garden page. I think I'm all done with this piece. So what side will I put it on? The green side or the red side? Yeah, I can stop with this piece now. I did everything I'm supposed to. I added to my picture. I added more words. I think this piece will teach people a lot about gardening. So I'm going to put it on the red side. I can stop with that piece. I'm all done with it. And then when I close my folder, my writing will stay nice and safe inside there. Pretty cool, huh? And then I can keep this with all of my stuff that I need for writing. So when I come to writing every day, when it's writing workshop time, I'll have my folder, lots of paper, crayons, or something else to write with. Writers, I'm so proud of you today. Thank you for helping me solve my problems. And I want you to remember that today and every day when you're writing, you can do it by yourself. You can do hard things. You can solve your own problems. You can figure it out because you are a super writer. All right, kiddos. Today, I want you to spend some time getting your writing folder ready, maybe adding to a piece that you've already started, or maybe you can start a new teaching piece. I can't wait to see what you guys are writing about and learn from the things that you are going to teach us. Off you go, writers.